Welcome to the Skills Commons repository. In this video, we will go over the various ways that you can browse for materials. So let's begin. Open your web browser and go to www.skillscommons.org. In the main menu at the top of the page, click on Browse. In this video, we'll go over how to browse by grant project, material type, credential type, institution, and industry. We also have a visual browse for industry, which we'll go over as well. So let's start with browsing by grant project. When you click on the browse by grant project page, you'll be presented with a list of all of the grant projects that are contributing materials to the repository. You can scroll through the list and find a grant project that you're um, interested in finding, or if you know the name, you can just jump to that section. So let's just go ahead and um, look for the National STEM Consortium. So I'll go ahead and click on N. And there we go, National STEM Consortium. Click on that. So once you're on the grant project page, you can see that you can view the learning resources that the National STEM Consortium has uploaded or the program support materials. And we do get a lot of questions about the difference between the two, so we do have in our FAQ on our support center um, a little definition of the two. I'll just click over there quickly. So this is in our FAQs, and it's what's the difference between the learning resource materials collection and the program support materials collection. So basically, learning resources are the materials that are used for teaching a course, while program support materials are used to administrate or support the course and it gives you a list of typical program support materials um, such as you know program administration materials job training um, program assessment evaluation so um, if you're looking to find out the difference between the two this is where you'd find it in the FAQs in the support center so let's go back to the grant project page um, for the National STEM Consortium and let's just uh, take a look at the learning resources that they've uploaded and so you can see a full list of the courses. So they have a lot of courses here that they've uploaded into the repository. So you'll get the full definition. Um, you can actually download the course or the materials that they have uploaded for each submission. So we'll go ahead and go back to the main page. This is the learning resource collection again. And then let's take a look at some of their program support materials. So we can just take a look at this NSC model report and you can see the full uh, submission is here. And if you wanted to take a look at it, you would just click on this and you could see it. So let's just go back again to the grant project page and then you'll, you can also see there's some statistical information about this particular grant project and that would be true for every grant project page that you visit. So now that we've covered browsing by grant project, let's uh, move on to the next item and that's going to be browsing by material type. So I'll go ahead once again and go back to the main menu, click on browse and then click on material type. And then what you'll have here is the list of different material types for all of the submissions that have been, been uploaded to the repository. So you may have maybe interested in only looking at animations. So you can see that um, as of right now, there are 263 submissions that have animations. Um, you could just be looking for case studies or, you know, a final program report or only blended and hybrid courses or hybrid blended courses. So let's go ahead and uh, pick one of these. How about we pick online course? So these are submissions that when they were uploaded were given um, the tag of an online course. So here you can see there are right currently 425 online courses that have been uploaded and you can scroll through and um, you know look at the various courses. Now this may be too broad of a of a list for you. You can then um, on the left go down and um, start to you know refine your search a little bit. So maybe you were only interested in healthcare online courses so you would see the um, the various industries here that you could narrow your search down to you could say well maybe i'm only interested in online courses that um, are part of a bachelor's degree so you could click on that and then it will give you the 30 courses that are online courses that are also part of a bachelor's degree 
And now if you wanted to remove any of these limitations that you had set while you were browsing, you can just go ahead and do that by clicking on the X. So maybe we um, will remove the bachelor's degree and just go back to the full list that of online courses. So you would just click on the X and then you would get back that way. So let's go ahead and move on to the next browse by type and that is credential type. So once again go to browse at the top of the menu and then in the drop down select credential type. And then here's where you can select maybe you're only interested in a specific credential type you're looking for materials um, that are only a part of a bachelor's degree program or are um, you know part of a diploma program or a stacked latticed credential model. So this is where you would start browsing by credential type. So that's pretty straightforward. So we'll go ahead and go back and take a look at the next browse by type and that is going to be institution. So we'll go ahead and click on institution. And you may be interested in finding materials that have been uploaded by maybe a sister institution or um, you know a community college in your area or a community college that you know um, has courses that that are very similar to courses that you teach. So here's where you'd be able to browse by institution and um, just like the grant project browse you could you know scroll through the whole list and you know continue to click next until you found your institution or you can go straight to it to the institution just by clicking on the um, the skip to letter at the top and say we were looking for Rend Lake College, we would go ahead and click there and we see that they have eight um, submissions and their eight submissions would be listed. So let's go now and hit on the last browse by item which is browse by industry and once you click on the browse by industry you will get a full list of um, the industries that are in the repository. So maybe you're interested in manufacturing materials that have been uploaded. You could go ahead and, and drill down this way, clicking on manufacturing. You could at this point view everything that falls within the manufacturing um, industry or you can um, choose one of the sub-disciplines. So maybe it's machinery manufacturing that you know you're interested in and then you could view all of the machinery manufacturing materials or you can continue to drill down. So you could do you know metalworking um, or industrial machinery manufacturing and this would give you the materials that are in the repository that are in industrial machinery manufacturing. And we do have a more detailed videos and information on browsing by specific industry and those can be found in the support center, the Skills Commons support center. So you would go to the support center and then find the area for browsing by industry and we, you'll see that you'll find specific information for browsing by manufacturing. You can see a video that focuses just on browsing by manufacturing if you go back you can see um, a video and information that is specific to the healthcare industry. So let's go ahead and hit on the last item which is also browsing by industry but using a visual um, and we call it a wheel as you can see it is in the shape of a wheel and what it does is it shows you the different industries in a visual so if you um, just kind of scroll over some of these sections you can see that this purple section is manufacturing while this sort of orangish peach color is healthcare and social assistance um, and you can just kind of you know hover your mouse over and this is construction so let's just say that I'm looking for materials in construction I can go ahead and click on this section and it's going to take me just to the construction section and here I can continue to drill down. Here's construction of buildings and here's foundation. And so say this is as far as I'd like to drill down, I'm going to go ahead and click on this section. So I can either do that by clicking here in the blue area and it will take me to um, the materials that I'm looking for or I can click on the actual text. So if I went here and clicked on the actual text as well, 
I would get the same set of results. So I'm going to go back once again and then I'm going to show you if you have drilled down and now you want to get back to the the larger wheel with all of the industries you would just click into this middle area and that would take you back. This concludes our video on how to use the Browse feature in Skills Commons. If you have questions or need assistance, please feel free to contact us at support at skillscommons.org. Please visit our Support Services Center at www.skillscommons.org for additional videos and tutorials.